Hello friends, I wanted to speak to you about the salmon fish. I don't know if you've read about the salmon fish. If not, go read about it, research about it. It's a beautiful story to me. These fish are spawned or buried in a higher plane in the lofty areas of the land. And they go down soon after they're born, downstream, down, they take the path downstream towards the salty uh, waters where there are waves and sharks that prey on other fish. They stay there for a while. When they are thinking about their future, when they want to have another generation, they don't want to have their children born in the salty waters. They make their way back along the path where they came from to those quiet streams on the lofty areas. But this is not without problems, for they are swimming against the tide. They go up against the stream, and they get exhausted from this. They are eaten by other birds and birds of prey, and they die along the way. But some will, will get to their destination, albeit with a lot of tiredness, to start another generation. I think God has written, on the life cycle of this fish, a story about our redemption, a story about what we ought to do as humans. Because we were born in the beginning in the image of God. But sin destroyed that picture. Sin is effacing the, the, the image of God from humanity. And as human beings through sin, we wandered off from the high and lofty ideal that God had, had for us. And we went downstream to the salty waters of sin where desires take charge and human lives are destroyed. But when we want to have a better future like this fish, we should aim to go back to be converted and say, this is not going to be my future. And we go upstream. It's not an easy thing, but we should swim against the desires. Swim against sin and swim against the flesh. The spirit fighting against the flesh. And even though we, there are others who will prey upon us and other beasts that will feed on us, but even if we die, we die facing upward, not downwards. And we will reach our destination if we are determined. Uh, this life of the Salmon represents what we should be doing as human beings. Now, beloved, I want to challenge you. A salmon fish is so small. It's a fish with a small brain. And surely, you and I have better brains. If a fish can think about going back to the previous image, to the original ideal, surely we should be able to think about turning back to God and becoming part of God's ideal for us. Let us then be converted and be what God wants us to be and fulfill that purpose that God had for humanity in the beginning, for humans to be in the dignity of sons and daughters of God who will reign and live with him forever. That ideal is possible only through your decision to choose Christ and him as your savior and as your key. And when we choose Christ, we will live with him forever, eternal in his kingdom. May God bless you.